minutes to actually look at some of the verses that were shared by the children this morning. Wasn't this encouraging? It's time for the kids. Thank you all for the verses and songs that you memorized. It really spoke to my heart. And I wanted to look at several verses that the kids shared with us this morning. The first is in Psalm 121. I memorized the whole song, actually. So great job memorizing that. And really the, uh, the pattern, one of the patterns and themes that I saw this morning was the hope that we have in the Lord. And the fact that we really have nothing to worry about, but that if we put our trust and our faith in Him for the practical day-to-day -day life that we have, that we can have true joy. And so looking at Psalm 121, and I'll just read it. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. And then these last two verses. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. And we know, of course, that this psalm was a psalm uh, about the Lord's relationship with Israel. But we can see the nature of God in this psalm. And continuing forth, another one of the verses uh, that the kids brought forth this morning was in Luke 2. I think it was Levi. Memorized Luke 2, 8 through 16. And I thought it would be nice for us actually to, to take a quick look at that as well. So Luke 2, verse 8 through 16. In the same region, there were some shepherds staying out in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. just been Christmas time, so of course this is an appropriate one for us to read based on the time of year as well. So the shepherds were out um, keeping watch over their flock by night, and an angel of the Lord suddenly stood by them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were terribly afraid. Now of course they were afraid because the glory of the Lord was showing around them and was so powerful and unexpected. Can you imagine just having a quiet evening as a shepherd out there, keeping watch over the flocks, and actually their goal was to prevent anything exciting from happening because they wanted it to be calm and safe. And all of a sudden, the glory of the Lord shone around them. So they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy, which shall be for all the people. For today in the city of David there has been born, of you, born for you a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This shall be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And this part is really amazing. And suddenly there appeared to the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. And then the last two verses really speak to the response of the shepherds. So they're out there quietly watching their flocks, and then all of a sudden, the glory of the Lord shows around them. They're terrified. The angel speaks to them and says, Be not afraid, I have great news. And then the angels and the multitude of angels in the heavenly host come and praise the Lord. But these last two verses speak to the response of the shepherds to this situation. Verse 15. When the angels had gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds began saying to one another, Let us go straight to Bethlehem, then, and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has made known to us. Um, so they came in a hurry and found their way to Mary and Joseph and the baby as he lay in the manger. So a few thoughts. One is how amazing that the Lord Jesus... The one who is rich made himself poor to come and humble himself and to be born in me. Another thought is, though he came to his own and his own received him not, he was rejected of his own people, as we know. 
But if you think about it, this amazing moment, this amazing experience in history, there were just a few shepherds who heard this announcement. And they were open and responsive to this and obeyed the angels and said, let us go forth and see. So another situation where we see not only that God has a plan, um, but that when we respond, there's blessing. And the last uh, verse that I'd like just to, just to take a quick look at is in Philippians 4. <clears throat> and we see in, in Psalm 121 and also in Luke 2 and in so many other places, as Robbie mentioned this morning, this uh, really this wonderful theme that the kids brought forth to us of our trust and hope in the Lord. Um, and Paul puts it so clearly in Philippians 4, verse 4, that I thought it would be important for us to, to read this as well. Verse 4, Philippians 4, verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be made known to all men. The Lord is near. And then this is the one that I need to work on. And, and maybe if, uh, if you ever worry, um, then, then maybe this is one that is spoken to you at times as well. Verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then the last verse that I wanted to read was um, verse 8, because it, it speaks to our response and one of the ways that we can really keep our eyes on the Lord. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, Whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Of course, we go through difficult circumstances and trials in this life, but we can see a pattern throughout Scripture, and even in a Christmas program like this, um, where the Lord so clearly has a plan to save man. The Lord so clearly gave us an opportunity to be brought nigh to Him. The Lord has put us together in this place for encouragement. And the Lord, even day to day, in the big things and in the small things, has His hand over us. And so, uh, thank you again to all the kids for really touching me, and I think so many of us. Um, it, it's clear that the Lord is, is working and has a wonderful plan, um, and that our response is, like the shepherds, just to say, well, how then should we respond to these things? Let us go forth and keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. Thanks, Brother Andrew. It's great to see you too.